I get to interact with young men and women, NCC cadets, college students, besides younger generation of friends and acquaintances. Depending upon their educational, regional and social backgrounds, almost all of them look for jobs with the government and IT and finance. Not many are enterprising to materialize novel ideas into business. Not that they do not have ideas. Some of them have the best of ideas, but the fear of starting something small when their friends and peers are doing big does not let them be an entrepreneur. Also, the fear of failure in their minds as also in the minds of the family restrain them from going ahead. They do not realize that they did not learn swimming without entering the water, nor did they ride the bicycle without falling many times. Moreover, they do not understand that winding up a business idea that did not work is not a moral turpitude or stigma that would spoil their reputation. The lessons that one learns on account of failure of business ideas are valuable in life ahead. Instead of making them head the business as a parachuter, they should be made to learn first. They should know how important it is to make a killing instead of having an effortless food. The ideas of taking challenges should be promoted in them. It is a paradox that the parents who have made their careers and worked hard to accumulate a fortune by struggling in life do not cajole their children to start on their own, look for a break and be enterprising. They keep them safe and secure in cocoon, not letting them to know the world and learn with their own attempts. With the extra comforts of life, they make them like broiler chickens where the legs are fat and thick but not strong enough to go a long distance. Rather, the children are cozily made to sit on the chair of authority and decisions without their having proved their capability and worth for it. The only exception is a young man of 21 years of age who went to Cochin in Kerala without knowing the local language and without having a place to stay. He looked for small jobs but was rejected everywhere. After five days of search for a job, he got one in a bakery to meet his lodging expense. Then later, he worked at a call center, at a shop selling shoes and McDonald's. There are many youngsters that work as hard, but what makes it of anecdotal importance is the fact that his father was not a common man. He is the owner of Hare Krishna Diamond Exports, a company that has few thousand crores turnover. Why was this young man experimenting with the odds in life? In reality, Saoji Dhanji Dhulakia planned to give his son the feel and taste of a common man's life. He wanted the son to realize how difficult it is for somebody to earn the daily bread. This is a life's lesson that one does not learn in formal education at school or college. Despite being accustomed to the luxuries of life, the young man accepted the father's challenge and proved himself. Money earned with perseverance and hard work will basically change your children for success in life. Capable and competent offer so much luxury and comfort to the children that they do not get to know the real world. They have not experienced the arduous journey by train and bus, different and difficult conditions and not faced times with paucity of money, then how will they get the power to fight their way? All successful families should allow their young children to start with small businesses. Give them the challenge to make their own lives. Awaken in them the power of struggle. Empowering your loved ones is real love.